I see so many churches around here, but what makes each of them different? Stay tuned to find out the answer. My name is Zeke Matthew, and animated Christians are all about original movies and series, as well as clean anime and manga reviews. If you have not watched season 1 of What's the Church series, then click the video card above since this is a continuation of the series and it will give you a better understanding of where I'm coming from. Now I'm not saying all churches are like this or all pastors are like this. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the church to be. So you're driving down the road one day and you see a church called a Baptist. Then not too far away is another called a Methodist, another Pentecostal, another Church of God, etc. You may ask, what makes them so different if all of them look the same? To help distinguish between the churches, we call this denominations. So what is a denomination? Well, the definition of a denomination is a religious organization whose congregations are united in their adherence to its beliefs and practices or act of dominating. A good example is if I have a whole pie and I cut it into pieces. First I cut it in half, then I cut it again until there are little pieces of the pie. You see, that's what denominations are. They are strips of the pie which make up the Bible. Let's look at another half of this definition, which is an act of dominating. A definition of dominating is to control, govern, or rule by superior authority or power. Churches have dominated the vast majority of the building space on every block. But have you noticed not a lot of people go to church? So if the church is dominating every block space, why are they not dominating this country? Well, part of the problem is there's division in the church. So maybe people might mistake each church being a different religion, even though it's under the Christianity umbrella. So a really good way of looking at this is each church is a club. So a definition of a club is an association of persons for some common object usually jointly supported and meeting periodically. So looking at this definition, we see that people meet periodically in the church. For example, say there's a beginner's bicycle club, a medium bicycle club, and a pro bicycle club. You see, each club represents a different denomination within the church. Beginners could be a Baptist church, the medium could be a church of God, and a pro could be a non-denominational. The other things we should realize is that most churches disagree with one another on the Bible and how it is interpreted and that's why we have division in the church because no one has expressed the whole Bible as of yet because they either take stuff out or add stuff in that's not based on the Bible which most churches seem to do even though they believe in the Bible. This is why churches are not taking off, because it's based on different beliefs of the Bible that they can't come in agreement with. This is why you see so many different belief systems in the church, because it's all based on different beliefs in the Bible. And this is what has caused the division in the church. Another problem denominations face is they're competing against one another. Each denomination believes he or she is correct of doing church. But in the Bible, there is no such thing as denominations. It's one big family. Let me know your thoughts about this subject in the comments below. And join me next time where we will discuss the foundation of the church and the basis for it. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.